My name is <coughs> Cyril Hammer, Thrift Solution. We present here our new product uh, from the Series 5, the 511 Stereo Amplifier. It's a very versatile unit. It's usable as stereo amplifier, mono amplifier and dual amplifier. I will come back to that point later on. What is very new in this unit is again a new technology in terms of uh, power supply. It's not completely new, it's just brought one step further based from what we had on the 501 or which is also in the 711. Uh, it's a switch mode power supply which has a lot of power provides all the uh, power required for the amplifier. But in this unit as well, we have all the auxiliary voltages um, produced with switch mode power supplies, which has the advantage of having more space to align uh, these units in a perfect way inside. This uh, had the, um, the uh, option, or I have to say the advantage, that we can have the power flowing through the amplifier much more direct than it was able before. So in this amplifier we do not have any cable from the power input until it goes out to the output from the speakers. Everything is hard connected with uh, boards, bolts and a very direct way. This is of course uh, just one aspect but in the end it leads to more uh, power flow, more ease of power flow within, within the product and you can hear that. So the unit is very versatile, it can be used as stereo amplifier, as monoblock amplifier or as a dual amplifier for B amplification. I can quickly show you how you do that. There is a menu function in the amplifier, you can uh, enter that with the proc button. Then you select the amplifier mode and you can easily change then from stereo to mono or to dual. Whenever you set the new uh, mode, for instance it is in stereo, I set it to mono, I will have to re-cable the amplifier. So whenever you select that mode, the amplifier says change cabling to a mono setup and will switch off. Right? So it does, it does automatically power down and once it's switched off, you change the cables to the mono mode and once you power up again, there might be now a timeout. So it's powering up again and it says, it asks you cabling change to mono mode. If you do not um, confirm that you did change the cabling to mono mode, the amplifier will not start. Just to make sure that you change the cables before you start and you confirm that by push on the knob and the amplifier is starting off. So this allows that you can use it in a very different way. It's also safe because you have to change the cables, the cabling, whenever you go from stereo to mono or to dual mode. So very versatile. You can start with a stereo block. Later on, if the speakers require more power, you just add another unit and you can use it in mono mode.